Well, I guess you guys have seen the whole Trump mugshot. <laughs> this guy looks so pissed. He looks so angry. Oh, my Lord. Whoever thought it was a good idea to arrest the Teflon president, that person should be fired. But going by that logic, everyone in the Democratic Party should be fired because they're all a bunch of idiots. They, they, they're giving this man the best campaign ever. They try, I think they're just ensuring, making sure Trump walks away with the victory 20, uh, coming uh, 2024. Because this is beyond stupid. This is beyond stupid. This, this guy is probably the most loved president in modern American history. And this is how they're treating him? Using the, the political power, every political power available to them to try and cross your political opponents. And it's very blatant for everyone to see. That's why everyone's coming out in droves to support Trump. And he's, look at that face. My old dude is pissed. Oh, he's coming. He's coming back. He's coming back. He's going <laughs> to, it's not going to be fun when it comes back. He is going to F-ish up. He is going, oh my. I hope it doesn't just, because Trump talks a good game. I hope it's not all talk this time. I hope he actually goes there and try to drain that swamp. Because all most of the things he said he was going to do last time, he never did it. Just talk, talk, talk. Never actually did it. Want to drain the swamp. Now the swamp has got more slimy creatures now than ever. How you want to drain the swamp? You get in office and you hire John Bolton. Are you... Are you... <laughs> Are you serious? You hired John Bolton, the leader of the swamp creature. That guy hasn't seen the country. He doesn't want to blow up. He doesn't want to invade. <clears throat> if they have the opportunity, these neocons, they would invade every country in the world because that's their prerogative. They want to rule the entire world. And Trump is the kind of person, he doesn't bridle his tongue. Trump just says whatever comes to his mind. <laughs> they don't like him. They don't like him. Not because like he's actually trying to make some significant change. He appears like he is. But it's, they don't like him mainly because he just blurts out what they say in private. Imagine Trump coming out the other day and saying, oh, they made a mistake with Venezuela. Because then when it was, in, when it was president, Venezuela was weak and they should have just invaded Venezuela and take the entire country. You know, they would have had all that oil. And I'm like, what did Trump just say this? Oh, they would, they would have had all that oil if they just invaded Venezuela back then. It's like, whoa. That's why they don't like the guy. Because he just says in public what they talk about in private. He always says the quiet part out loud. But amongst all of them, pol politicians, the political parties, it seems like Donald Trump is the one. It seems like he's just... Unquote, it seems like he's the one that's actually kind of for the people. Because these politicians do not care about the people. If they cared about you, they would have helped Maui. Instead, they're packing all the billions to Ukraine. Like it's the 51st state. Ukraine? Majority of Americans can't even point out Ukraine on the map. But now everyone is virtue signaling, putting Ukraine flag on the, on their bio because we're living the age of virtue signaling now. Woke culture is running rampant like some sort of mind virus. So look at the headline here in the BBC. Oh God, BBC. Trump campaign raises 7.1 million following historic Georgian mugshot. Of course, of course, people are going to flock to him. I, I, I heard 20% of black people voted for Trump the last time. This time, it's going to be way more. Way more black people are going to vote for Donald Trump. Because last time, Donald Trump, man, people made money during when Donald Trump was in office. Now, Joe Biden is in office and everyone is back to square one. Worse than square one. You're like, what's going on? Skeletor, Joe Biden is over there. He doesn't even know what he's doing. Don't know what planet he's on. He forgot to sign an, an executive order the other day. He, just <laughs> he was supposed to sign the order and just walked past. The, oh, uh, blah, 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 blah. He doesn't know what he's doing. But of course, for the neocons and the globalists or whatever, that's the person they really want. 
because all they have to do is put stuff in front of him and he would just sign. He just sign. If you think the pres the president actually control things, <laughs> you're in for a rude awakening. The presidents are controlled. They are owned by the Silicon Valley and all these top trillionaires and billionaires and all these people. So Donald Trump election campaign says it's raised 7.1, which is 5.6 million pounds since his police mugshot was taken at a prison in Atlanta, Georgia on Thursday. Much of the money comes from merchandise such as mugs, t-shirts, and drink coolers bearing the former president's scowling face. <laughs> That's like the perfect merchandise right there. Look at his face. He is so pissed. And look at that. Look at Joe Biden's approval rating going down the drain. 53% of people now disapprove of him. Before last Thursday, it was about 49.50, but it jumped up now. It's 53 now. People do not like this. Using your political power to come after your opponents. And I've, I've never seen anything like this. Like, in, so blatant like this, though, in front of everybody. I've never seen... Wow, these people are so bold right now. This is miscarriage of justice. This is misuse of power. They think we're dumb. They think the people, the people are dumb. You're just going to sit down and watch this happen. What? Oh. <sighs> <laughs> this is crazy this is crazy see uh trump was mr trump they don't say president trump no more see the disrespect mr trump was released on bail charged with plotting to overturn the state's uh 2020 election result the plotting to overturn it why was he plotting to overturn it the dude's already president this term is almost over uh, he faces three other indictments as uh, he campaigns for the 2024 U.S. election. Uh, they include two related to his false claim that the election was stolen. <laughs> false claim. Come on, man. And the attack by his followers on the Capitol. The attack? They're talking about January 6th. The, the, the they were literally walking, just walking around, taking selfies in the building. That's not an insurrection. Have you seen insurrection? <laughs> if you think there's an insurrection you have another thing coming when the people finally wake up as we're doing now everybody's waking up now we're realizing we're collectively being screwed by the higher ups we're screwed doesn't matter what color you are we, the people at the bottom the plebs like you and I are the ones that are being distracted by playing the whole race game the whole color game the people at the top they don't care what color you are they only care about green that's the only color they know they don't care that's why when Obama became president and a bunch of black people are all happy, old black person is president now. No, we're, we're, we're doing it. We're def We're finally, finally going to become the no something. I'm like what? He's not for you. <laughs> He's for them. What are you talking about? They don't play the race game. The poor people at the bottom are the ones that keep fighting each other over what color of you. It's stupid. It's stupid. While well, we're busy fighting, these billionaires and trillionaires are walking away with the loot. And if they think January 6th was an insurrection, <laughs> when the people finally wake up and decide to take back power, because power doesn't belong to them, we have the power. Because there's more of us. They have another thing coming when people finally wake up. The wake up is happening. You can see it all around you. Anyways, that's the video, guys. Until next time. Hey! <laughs>